Oh, I just don't know. There's so many different vacuum cleaners to choose from. We're at the start of 1992 and there's so much choice. What do I get? An upright, a cylinder, or one of these newfangled three-in-one things? Oh. oh, hello. You've caught me. I've got the latest edition of Ideal Home magazine because they have vacuum cleaners in it this month. And I like to keep abreast of the latest technology. And my old Hoover Junior's just conked out and I'm looking for a new machine. But yeah, there's so much to choose from. There's too much choice nowadays. Look, there's this Electrolux glider. Some ugly looking dirt devil. Mm, I've never been a fan of the Goblin laser range. A little bit too basic for me. And I think I want an upright. I don't want one of these Bosch Alpha 33s. That looks fancy. Wow, look at that. It's a Hoover Turbo Master. The Turbo Master Freedom. It's the top of the range. Well, I like a top of the range vacuum cleaner. Who doesn't? It says it's the top of the range upright cleaner with a host of features. This includes a permanent dust bag, extra long eight meter flex, <laughs> onboard tools, air freshener, and a carpet type selector switch. A free extension hose is available, about £209.99. Oof, it's a bit much, isn't it? It's a bit much. I might just go for a turbo power, perhaps. Wow, that's fancy. Look at that one. It's a Hoover Galaxy. That looks futuristic, but uh, it won't be good for deep carpet cleaning and picking up pet hairs and all that Goblin Rio. Bit too low brow for me. Ooh, look at that. A deluxe Autotronic from AEG. I bet that's expensive. Ooh, 170 pounds, I can't afford that. Oh, what about one of these three-in-ones? There's the Aquamaster Ecotronic, the Vax 2000. Oh, for just wet and dry, there's those like Goblin Plus or some Gusty, a Goblin Gusty. Well, I don't need to clean up leaves, so that can be used as a blower as well. Oh, well, there's not much choice in here. I think I'd better pop down to my local curries and take a closer look. While I'm contemplating the next vacuum cleaner to buy, I thought I would make this video recording to show you one of the older vacuum cleaners in my collection. I brought it downstairs, but I can't think where I've put it. Where on earth is it? Ah, oh, of course. Silly me. It was right under my feet. It's the only vacuum cleaner you can use as a footstool or puffet, as we used to call them in the 70s, or puff if you're a lower class. Yes, I've got my feet up on a puff that's also a vacuum cleaner. Let's take a closer look at this National Capsule. Yes, here it is, the National Capsule Vacuum Cleaner model MC. 3000F. There's a funny story behind this particular machine. Well, it's not funny. It's just a story. I'll tell it anyway. I had one of these a while ago, years ago, before I was on YouTube. And for some reason, I decided I didn't want it anymore. And I sold it on eBay. No idea how much I sold it for. But it went. And then, as one does, one regrets getting rid of certain machines and I regretted getting rid of this one. So I kept looking on eBay for another. They don't turn up very often. They're quite rare and at this stage they're quite fragile. It's okay to put your feet on it. I used to be able to sit on this, but I don't think I'd sit on it now, particularly because I've got so fat, but it probably would crack with the weight of my bottom on this lovely plastic vinyl coating. But anyway, so I searched and searched and one popped up. And I won it and blow me down it only turned out to be the one I sold <laughs> this is the same one so it wasn't a different one it was the one I sold the the seller told me I mean I wouldn't have known I couldn't remember who I sold it to but the seller said oh I bought it off you so I thought oh well it should be okay then so yeah a little bit of a funny story there for you folks so here it is quite small and compact Designed, I think, for Japanese homes. They don't have a lot of storage. So why not combine a useful piece of furniture 
with a vacuum cleaner so they've come up with this national capsule there probably was other types of machines i know there was a very old table vac made of wood that uh, incorporated a like mahogany table and a vacuum cleaner i haven't got one of those yet might get one at some point but i'm in no rush so shall we have a look around this cleaner it's all plastic as you can see and it is footstool shaped and uh, it's on wheels and here's two of the wheels at the front hang on let, let me just i'll show you underneath when i take the top off it'll be easier this is what's causing the trouble the mains cable the plug well it's more the plug yeah that was the plug that i sold it with and could do with a bit of a clean up i think it's two yes it's two fixed wheels at the back yeah and two swivel casters at the front but yeah it's more or less the same all the way around and yes you can use it as a footstool because we've got this take the cover off we've got this lovely very 70s looking i'm not sure when this dates from i would probably say the 70s judging by this orange which was a very fashionable 70s color so yeah we've got this uh, wipe clean vinyl topper and underneath that now it is missing the upholstery nozzle but apart from that it is complete so here are the small well all the tools actually apart from the hose so we have here a dusting brush medium soft brushes i don't know if it no it doesn't rotate yes it does it does rotate it does rotate so you can angle it for different areas and then we've got a slim crevice nozzle for your nooks and crannies this is the telescopic wand although it could be called a triscopic wand Hoover did a machine back in the 2000s and something I don't know when it was but they did a machine with a triscopic telescopic wand so it basically was a wand in three pieces and I think this has three sections to it so let's pull it out to its fullest extent to extend the wand for use we just pull it out so there's one and it should lock into position there and that so yeah i've had to move my camera up a bit so we can get the full wand in shot so it's you know it's a fair length considering it compacts quite small and then to compact it down you press that button first and then the other one and then it'll pop back inside the lid and then here we have a very hitachi-esque looking floor nozzle this is national or national panasonic i think they're just known as panasonic now so yeah it's all pretty clean and tidy we've got uh, bare floor setting here so with the bare floor setting obviously the brush comes down front and back and then we've got low carpet setting in the middle with the brush floating and then high which retracts the brush completely so a bit similar to the old-fashioned uh, nozzle you get on a constellation with a brush at the back that you could have in the floating position or locked down or locked up and some people keep saying i should be locked up but i've managed to survive so far without anyone rumbling me but you know there's plenty more weirder people on on the internet than me i can assure you right so that's all the tools let's have a look at the rest of the cleaner here's the hose it's not in the best condition the hose it's a little bit distorted and it's probably suffered from a bit of storage wear i know what this reminds you of i did have another cleaner didn't i called capsule which is more of a traditional shaped cylinder cleaner with all the tools stored inside that's where i've seen that carpet and floor nozzle before right so it's exactly the same type of hose fitting as well there's three positions this position which is position two i think is the position you'd use the machine and i think yes you have to have the top off to use it you can't i don't think the top will stay on 
pretty sure you can't have the top on. Yeah, because there's no, yeah, there's no cutout. So you have to have the top off. And we'll just use the machine and pull it along like this. So that's uh, position two. So position three is for storing the hose, wrapping it around and popping the end into the hole there. Two for use and position one will be to remove the hose. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an old girl this, it's starting to get a bit worn. Pretty clean. Here's the handle end and again it's starting to this rubber. I don't know if that's been glued. I don't think I ever glued it. It's a little bit there that might have had a bit of glue on. You've got a swivel connection. Hmm, I wonder what that is. I wonder if that would have had a switch on some models. They might have had one with a remote on off switch. You do have a suction relief doubly. Where's the hole? Oh, there's a hole. Reducing the suction. So that's the hose. It's very, very short. So I'm not sure if this has been shortened to repair it or probably was fairly short. And here we have the machine itself. There's a built-in carry handle so we can lift the cleaner up. And here we have a blowing port and it looks like there should have been a diffuser on here. I've got plenty of black diffuser material that I could easily cut to fit does look like there's some sort of lugs just on the underside of the grill looks like something there would have been some sort of filter on that whether it was a diffuser filter or some sort of cloth filter so I'll, I'll find something to fit there even a Miele filter cut to size uh, make some little holes in it push it on that would do nicely and so we can just put the I think it just pushes on yeah there's no you just push it on and then we can use it for blowing so there's that we do have some instructions i don't have the printed instruction book but we do have some instructions actually printed on the machine itself the instructions are just telling you how to remove the hose and to ensure you have all the tools stored back in the lid so you can use this as a footstool got the on off switch automatic cord rewind and here we've got the bag check indicator although this is a bagless machine and the bagless container is here we just pull out the drawer and yes it is very similar to that other national capsule and inside we can just about see just to one side, we can see half the motor, but there is a full motor in there. And there's a little gubbins here. I don't know if it's a gubbins or a doobry, but when you pull out, if I can grab the flex, when you pull out the mains cable, this little doobry there <laughs> should rotate. And the little doobry also spins when you press the button to rewind the cable. Apologies for that noise. I think the old girl could do with a bit of grease. I think there's some screws hidden. One, two, three, four. I assume I'd have to lever these covers off and undo it to remove the top so we can have access to this machine. So here's the bagless container. And this little thing here connects with, I think it's a spindle. We won't call it a doobry. The spindle on the machine that rotates when you pull the cord out and retract the cord. So that engages with this, and then that in turn rotates. And I think it's supposed to use some sort of mechanism to shake the dirt off the filter. So it does here, ah, oh. only wash the cloth filter. Oh, so you can, I thought it was gonna say don't. Only wash the cloth filter. So it should be clean in here. I can't remember what it's like. Oh, it is, it is pretty clean. Pretty clean and tidy. And we've also got, a little bit rusty, a little window there that closes to keep the dirt in. And here we have 
combination of mesh and cloth. So, um, not sure how this, this comes off. Assume it will come off. I mean, there is a screw in the middle. Does that thing do anything? Oh, it does. Look, can you see folks? As I turn that uh, cog, things start moving about. Shaking the filter. I wonder if we can actually show that in action. It might be quite difficult. I wonder if I can sort of engage the filter without the dust box. No, I think it needs to be. In fact, I'm not sure if it's working at all. But I'm pretty sure that, that that piece should engage. Now, it's nothing to do with this. There's another little thingamajig here. That, to me, I can't move it, but that is possibly a suction relief valve in case the filter becomes blocked which I expect will happen a fair bit. So, let's see, filter goes back this way, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure if it, I'm not sure whether it's engaging with the mechanism anyway. something's going on in there it's making a lot of noise anyway so there you go uh, let's have a look on the underside two casters two fixed wheels finally before we switch on hopefully this cleaner is going to work I've no idea I've not switched on for a long long time we'll have a quick look here at the rating sticker national vacuum cleaner model number MC 3000 F AC only, 220 volts, 650 watts, 50 to 60 hertz, number 092970. Matsushita Electric, is it is it Shita or Shita? Matsushita sounds a little less obscene, so I'll say Matsushita Electric Indco Limited, made in Japan. Okie dokie, let's... Uh... Ooh, pull out all the cable. I think that's it. Let's, I'll just let a bit more go back in. Quite a short cable. Let's plug in. It might turn on, so brace yourself in case it does. These national bagless cleaners have a distinctive whiff about them. It's not unpleasant, it's just very vintage. Let's pop the hose on. There we go. Close up the suction valve here to feel the full force of the 650 watt motor. Creak, creak, creak. That's not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Let's uh, see what she measures on the old suction gauge. I'm not sure if I need this. Should I? Should, do I need this? I'll put it in anyway. Yeah. Right. I have no idea. I don't think uh, this cleaner is as powerful as, say, a Henry, which would measure 80. But mm, well, I think we could possibly get 60. I don't know. We could be surprised. Bear in mind that if there is a suction relief valve inside the machine, that might cut out once I block the end of the hose. I couldn't hear anything going on when I was doing that previously, but you never know. Well, that was a very respectable 72 on the gauge. 
for sealed suction. Yeah, that, that was surprising. Not bad at all. Right. I don't think it's going to like the plush pile carpet, but we'll give it a go. We'll take out the wand and the carpet and floor nozzle. I'm going to put it on high. So that's with the brush fully retracted. Extend the wand. Click it in. There we go. It's all a bit loose fitting. And in with the handle there. Click. Are you going to pop out? Yes. Right, let's give this a push. Well, the nozzle wasn't too difficult to push on my carpet on the high pile setting, but it's very, very short. You do have to be quite bent to be able to use this machine. Very short indeed, but I suppose if this was a Japanese woman in a Japanese house, they do tend to be, or at least they did tend to be a bit shorter than average, I think, Japanese people. So perhaps for them it would have been fine, but you know it is a little bit short you sort of you do have to sort of you know keep a bent back to use this i wonder what it'd be like on the uh, low setting with the floating brush just give it a quick push it's about the same i'd say really um probably gives you a bit more grooming action. I don't think they would have had this type of carpet back in the day really. On a short pile carpet or a hard floor it might be okay. Do you know what folks I'm going to put a bit of dirt down. Not too much. I'll put a bit of dirt down on this carpet. I'll put a bit of dirt down on the hard floor as well and we'll see how dirty the filter gets.
Deary me, that cord rewind makes more noise than the vacuum itself. But it's done a pretty competent job of cleaning the hard floor and the carpet, though I suspect when I go over this carpet later today with an upright, I'm gonna see quite a bit of dirt coming up that's been trapped in the fibers. Let's have a look inside. There's a bit of, yeah, surprisingly, it's still pretty clean, isn't it? There's a few little bits, but I'm not sure if they were in there when I started the video. Oof, it's a lot of muck in here. Not sure how clean the filter's going to be. There's the filter. I'm not really sure if the filter cleaning system is actually functioning properly. But there you can see all the muck in there. Look at the muck in here. And if, yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, we can see here, look. The cloth filter, that's gonna to have to be vacuumed off with another machine. A bagged vacuum cleaner I'm going to have to use. Just not sure how this comes apart. I have a feeling in order to get the plastic mesh away from the cloth part, we have to undo that single screw there. But yeah, I don't think the filter shaking mechanism was really working very well at all yeah oof. there's a lot of a lot of dust attached to that cloth filter that way up that's it i'll empty that later pretty competent in fact this little national capsule did perform better than I expected it to. Looking at the hose, I think it's possibly been shortened. I think it should fit a bit neater than that. I think, yeah. It's like the Hoover Portable I had, the one that uh, had the damaged hose, that had been shortened and it just didn't sit right and that doesn't. So I think, yeah, there's been a few inches taken off that. But we won't argue over a few inches, will we folks? Still picks up and considering whatever age this machine is I mean I'm saying it's probably at, at least 50 I would say at a guess but yeah, it's a neat little idea something that we might be seeing more of in the future when we're forced to live in 15 minute cities in tiny little rabbit hutches for humans people aren't gonna have the space to put a large vacuum, so we might be seeing more of these dual purpose appliances. This is a footstool in a vacuum. Who knows what they could invent? I'm sure Mr. Dyson is working on something as we speak. So let's pop everything back. I think, yes, it goes that way. It does handily provide you with a, a little guide which way to put them in. As I say, we're just missing the upholstery nozzle. Let's pop the lid back on. Nothing should fall out. Ah. Perhaps there's a way to do it. it. Doesn't want to go in. I think the hose is stopping something happening. There we go, that'll do. So anyway, I hope that was an interesting video for you the National Capsule Vacuum Cleaner, made in Japan. A quirky little machine, I think. If you have any comments or questions about this footstool come vacuum cleaner, please comment below, and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.